Hello everyone, this is Shu from Between Two Mules and in this video we're going to show you an overview of MuSoft RPA. Since MuSoft RPA is not a free product to use, I would recommend you guys to watch this video until the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any exclusive content. This video will be the part one of the MuSoft RPA series. So let's get started. RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation that enables you to automate business processes and tasks by using bots, which helps save time and prevent introducing human errors. To assess the need to use MuSoft RPA, we consider the following three objectives. The first objective is the financial objective, which includes eliminate manual repetitive tasks with better return of investment. The second objective was internal objective, which includes automating routine workflows at speed and scale anywhere across the businesses. So let's jump into the MuSoft RPA components. MuSoft RPA has four main components, RPA Manager, RPA Builder, RPA Recorder, and RPA Bot instances. Let's dig into in each of them. RPA Manager is the cloud-based control plane, or you can call it RPA Brain, that organizes and manages the RPA process through its life cycle. As you can see in the image below, we have built two RPA processes that can be accessed using RPA Manager. The next component is RPA Builder. RPA Builder is the on-premises application that enables you to build the automation by specifying the steps of the process. As you can see in the image below, we have created a BPMN diagram to build an automation. The next component is RPA Recorder, which is similar to Paparazzi. The recorder records everything on your on-prem screen and assists during the building phase. You can use RPA Recorder to build your BPM and diagram as well. The last but not least component is RPA Bot Instances. RPA Bot is an actual bot application that helps you to connect the bot with the RPA Manager. By using RPA Bot Instance, you can check the health and connectivity of your bot across any VM. So this was an overview of MuSoft RPA. I hope you guys liked this video. This was an introduction and in the next video, we will be picking up a demo to show you guys how you can use MuSoft RPA using a real life scenario. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.